All right, good evening, my stamping friends. It is Tammy with Stamp and Scrap Tammy with our weekly Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Central today instead of our normal 11 a.m. Central. So thank you for those that are joining me live. I decided this morning, well, I had some things going on today and it just worked out better to do it now. So I hope it works for some of you to watch me live now. Maybe you can watch live now and you couldn't have earlier. Or, you know, maybe you're catching the replay now because normally you're used to watching it um, earlier in the day. So thank you for those that are joining. I'm just getting logged in on my computer. Hopefully we can go smoothly today. I did a Facebook Live yesterday for my team and my phone went dead halfway through, then it wouldn't charge, and I don't know, it was just, it was a kerfuffle. But I am here, I think I have my phone charged, I think I'm ready to rock and roll. If you are, I have got a really fun card today to share. I'm using the Magnolia, a Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. It is retiring, the die cuts are retiring, and they are on super sale, so I thought I would bring it back, because I would have shared it probably just in a live class, like two years ago. So there are many of you that are new to following me that maybe you didn't see it. So some of you, I would love to see, maybe you even are still um, hoarding the card that you made at card class. So if you have a card that you made, the one that I'm gonna make today, it's real similar anyway. So I was doing it by memory. I didn't have my sample anymore, so I had to make a new sample. Um, but if you still have that, share it in the comments. I would love to see it. Or make another one because it is just that beautiful. All right. <laughs> Of course, I'm like clicking all over the place and not where I need to go. All right, we do still have our like, share, win, comment, um, the stamp set giveaway. I still have four stamp sets yet to give away. So we still have quite a few to do because somebody didn't claim one. So I'm going to just keep doing them until they're all claimed, of course. All right, and okay, people are watching. Good, you all found me. So Cindy, you normally watch in the morning. Thank you so much for checking in in the evening. And what a beautiful day it is today. I have some stuff going this morning. I have a retreat this weekend. So full weekend retreat, lots of prepping and packing. And I was waiting for my paper to get here and it got here. So I got all that done. And then I managed to go for a walk with a friend this evening at like five. And now I am all set for you all for the Good Morning Magnolia. Goodness, with that name, I really should have been live this morning. And... Oh, I should have warned my family. I should tell Allison to let her dad know that I am on a live video because, you know, normally he's sleeping and it doesn't affect him, but hopefully he hears me talking to myself now and realizes that I'm on a live video. Oh, he's coming in with stuff from Fleet Farm. You know what they say about Fleet Farm? The Fleet Farm don't have it. You don't need it, right? Is that how the saying goes, Chris? That's it. They bought me a coffee mug at Fleet Farm the other day. What a lucky gal I am. Uh, a, a coffee mug from Fleet Farm that says that, and it was 30 cents. So what a treat that I have. Now I'm the proud owner of a Fleet Farm mug. <laughs> okay, let's get started here. So as you can see, these are the supplies that I'm using today. Oh, here's the free stamp set giveaways. I have all of the background stamps. So I have four of them left to choose from to some lucky winners. I will uh, draw a winner. So actually we'll have today, I'll draw a winner from last week. And then we'll have three more weeks to keep on sharing. And so the week that I'm gone, um, I will be doing something else. So we'll just bypass that week. So we're gonna keep on going until they are all claimed. And then once they're all claimed, we are going to do a um, mini stamp and cut emboss machine. So everybody through all of the weeks, I'm putting them all in a big bucket. I will draw for that mini cut emboss machine. Okay, so look at this beautiful set that we have. I wrote the sale prices down. They were worth noting. I do have the links shared up above here, and I think it says the regular price for that, but really nice thing about this right now. These die cuts, look at this, there's so many of them. So this was one of the higher end price point um, bundles at one time when it first came out. So the dies originally, um, let's take a look here, were originally $35. They're on sale for $8.75 until the end of Monday. So it will be May 3rd, and then these are gonna retire. And the stamp set is still regular price. It's so beautiful, it is so worth it. But if you get one and wanna grab the dies, it is perfect. There's some great sentiments in this one too. A hello, thinking of you, and a thanks. Kind of the three cards that I send probably the most of. And um, so that is what that's all about. A Magnolia Lane, or Magnolia Memory. 
So basically, if you type in Magnolia and search it or just click one of the links up above, you'll be able to find it. And so here's the stamp set. I've already, I'm just using a few of the stamps. I'm using this really large one today. Something I do like in the die cut, so is these fun edges. So if you like to make fun edgings on your cards, there's, there is that there. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm doing some very simple stamping today and I'm gonna use some sponge, or not sponges, I'm gonna use the brushes, the blending brushes, and I'm also going to use the Stamparatus. But, and one thing I do need to do, I had to do it and I thought I might as well just wait and share with all of you, is how to re-ink an ink um, pad. So my soft suede ink pad was a little bit on the dry side and I can show you let me show you the first sample. So I have two, I have one really basic card and then I have one that has stepped up just a little bit. And so you can tell here, I got a pretty good image when I stamped it with my soft suede, but here it's a little on the dull side. So I need to re-ink my ink pad. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just open it up. I have the soft suede and I will open it just as normal. And this is just how I do it. I'm sure there's many different ways to do it, um, but I'm gonna share with you uh, my preferred method. This is so silly. I, it doesn't matter during a video. I don't need to see what time it is, but my watch is totally dead. So there's like no point to having it on at all. So I'm going to just go ahead and take that off. Oh goodness. I must've got a little bit sweatier than I thought on my walk. Need to. Okay. All right. So this is how I re-ink it. I have my soft suede and all I do is I go along this way. And I just, I'm just lightly squeezing it so it's coming out. So nothing, um, you know, too formal. When I started, I would just drip it on there. And then I realized I was just getting really weird um, ink spots. And, you know, I wasn't getting a nice even stamp then when I went to use it again. And so this seemed to really help. And then I can see if I missed any spots in there, really. I want it to be nice and juicy. And I will practice a, a stamp before I stamp on that big image. And what I'm gonna do next is I like to take a soup spoon or a, a spoon. It doesn't have to be a soup spoon. I just happen to have all these plastic soup spoons. Um, and I don't really know why, but I do. And so then I'm just gonna rub it along real gently, the ink pad, and that's gonna even out all of the ink. And so that's my preferred method of re-inking my ink pad. And so let's just give that a little practice run now on a piece of scratch paper. And I will do it with the thanks here. And it should be nice and vibrant. So you can see the difference. And now this is gonna show up really dark at first. It is going to lighten up to the correct color as the ink dries. So, it's, it's, so you'll definitely see what a difference that made. And how I truly, really needed to get my, my soft suede re-inked. Okay, so actually I can leave that open because what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do my two different stamping, stamping stamps, stamps. I don't, what am I talking about? My two different ways that I'm gonna stamp this Magnolia. And so it looks like, oh gosh, we have people watching from all over. So thank you everybody that is watching right now. I really appreciate it. I hope that so far, if you're new here, welcome. If you've been watching for a while, I welcome you as well. And I'm hoping this new time, well, I'm not gonna say new time. I'm gonna try to go back to my 11 a.m. next week. But throughout the summer, you know, don't be surprised if I hop around a little bit on my timing. Summer gets a little bit crazy, you know, with the kids and activities and if the weather's nice in the morning, but it's not gonna be later, I might just switch it up. So, and I'm hoping to add in a few random times as well throughout the week for you all. Cause I just have all kinds of fun cards that I wanna share with you when I'm looking forward to that new catalog. Okay, and I'm gonna actually put that all the way up there. And so I have my template below. That's gonna be just fine. I'm gonna leave that there though because I'm gonna do one just right on the paper. This is gonna be the most simplest stamping card ever. So it is so simple but so stunning. And look at that, I can see how nice and, and inky, that's what I'm gonna call it, nice and inky my um, ink pad is. It's gonna be nice and vibrant, I'm gonna love it. 
Now, if I didn't, I could do a two stamp if I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. Oh, it's so pretty. But now look at this. So this is so fabulous about the Stamparatus. I didn't quite get this part stamped right here. I'm not gonna put any more ink on this because the ink's still on there. So what all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back in place and I'm gonna push down just a little bit harder in that spot that I missed. And there we have it. We have got the most beautifully stamped magnolia. I just wanna see what would happen here if now I do another one, like a second generation stamp, if I want a nice subtle look. I don't know, it, might as well try it. What do we have to lose? This could be a total fail or it might look kinda of cute. Okay, let's see what we got there. Nice, a nice subtle look there. All right, and so I'm not gonna use that one. I just wanted to see what it would look like. And next, what I'm gonna do is I already die cut this one. So I, this is just the beautiful part of the Stamparatus is I can cut these all out in advance and then all I have to do when I have my little template here is drop it into place and then go ahead and do my stamping. And I don't have to put a lot of ink on that because I did just re-ink my ink pad. The ink pads, you, it's kind of one of those things you never really realize how badly your inks need to be re-inked until you re-ink them. And then you think, wow, it's like a brand new, I was just gonna say like a brand new car, nice, bright, and shiny. I guess you could refer it to that. But it's just like a brand new ink pad. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that this way. And then we can set my Stamparatus aside. And I'm going to bring in a scratch piece of paper because now I'm gonna do the sponging. But perhaps I could go ahead and put my thanks. Now I ha actually have a few thanks to stamp because I need a label for my second card. I'm just gonna get all the stamping out of the way right away. And then we'll just assemble at the end. Okay, so nice gentle stamp. Um, touch on my ink pad, especially because I just re-inked it. So I don't wanna be getting in there all crazy and wild and getting ink all over the place. And so I'm gonna do all thank you. There's a lovely hello stamp and then a thinking of you in this um, set, but I'm gonna just stick with the thanks today because I need a bunch of thank you cards. And so again, this stamp set and die cuts are retiring on Monday. So if you haven't had a chance to take a look at them, I hope that you're enjoying the little highlight of them today. Like I said, it's been a couple of years. I don't, I wasn't even really doing videos. I don't think when I created this card originally. So it's possible that there's a video out there of it before, but I didn't bother to go back and look because I know it was quite some time ago that I would have used this um, stamp set for a class. And let's move our ink pad out of the way. And now the colors that I need to bring in for my blending the blending brushes are back in stock there was a little missing in action there for a little while so they do come like this and so i do have some packages of these i would love to give some of these away too so uh, maybe i'll do a little surprise and delight for the next three people that place an order that might be a little nice perk for somebody so ordering special, I should talk about that. So my class kit, my free with a purchase class kit is totally sold out for April. I needed to move on. I got them all out in the mail yesterday. Emails are sent. Everything is set to go with them. Um, so I am moving into May's order special. Now there's going to be probably another little special surprise coming at some point, but you never know when. But May's order special is going to be a free embellishment with a $50 order and a hefty, I use the word hefty stack of designer series paper. And so that is what I'm going to do because I'm gone part of May. So it's going to just get too tricky for me to do um, like another whole card kit. So just doing something special for May, a free embellishment from the new annual catalog. So I'm going to pick out some of my favorites from the annual catalog and that's what I will send out. So look at here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rub this nice, nice and smoothly, giving it a little bit of a push onto my ink pad. And then before I go ahead and put it on my card, I am gonna touch it onto my paper. And the color that I have here, I have got the light, um, or the light, I'm talking in blends. I have soft sea foam. And so it's gonna just like barely show up here. And then I am gonna go back over it. So depending on how much color and how like subtle, I guess you wanna leave your, um, card. I want this card to have a pretty soft touch to it. 
And now these blending brushes, I haven't used them a lot, but the couple times I did, all I did was run them under some warm water to clean them out. But I had really good luck when I was doing a couple projects um, where I just, you know, I moved from one color to the next with no problem. I didn't have any trouble with them blending together. And all I did to get the color off was I just went like that and then I moved into the next color. I had no trouble. So that is a, just a nice soft sea foam. Let's go ahead now and try it with pear pizzazz and it'll be just a little bit darker. This one's going to be right on the card. So I'm just going to use the tip of the brush and it's going to go out of the lines a little bit so now if you don't like that idea oh and i'm forgetting to do this look that's that's okay ideally i should have done that oh i forgot again <laughs> see I'm, I'm not very good at listening to what i what i'm telling you to do all right there i did it see look at that so this is just going to be a little more vibrant that's okay and so it is going to go outside of the lines a little bit if that's not your style that you can handle that's okay then you're going to want to go more this route or you may even want to stick with the blending um, markers so this is using the blends markers and so there's many different ways to color i just hadn't done it this way in quite some time and so i thought i would try it out and i had my new blending brushes so i figured why not i in the past i had used um, the sponge daubers which are still an option too or the regular sponges but i'm really enjoying these um, once. Oh goodness, I did. I just pushed my green into there. So now I'm going to have to just show you how that works. I'm going to get all, I use my green. So this is what I should have been using for my pink, but because I can see my pink from the first time, but these are going to wash out nice. So I'm going to just go ahead and do just what I said and get that off of there. And I'm going to go right into my petal pink. And so you'll see it's not picking up any of the green, so it's just fine. I should see here, Allison. Everybody left and the dog is going crazy. I don't know what she needs. She probably wants attention. This is not a normal time, so she's probably really confused about what is going on right now. And so all I'm doing is rubbing this around here. And you can just keep on going and make it, you know, just go layer after layer if you wanna get it um, darker. And I'm gonna just stop right there so it's nice and subtle. Oh, maybe I want just a little bit right up in this spot. There we go, it's so pretty. Like I said, it looks really nice, just a little bit that it does go out of the lines. It just gives it a nice look. And then I'm going to do the same on my one that is die cut. And so this is the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. And so these big images sometimes can be a little bit intimidating. And as I'd like to show, actually the big images are perfect for simple stamping projects because you don't have to add a lot more to it. This is your focal point. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, this is great. I love it. I, so, you know, I tend to, because I'm always showing new things, I'm always, you know, working with new stuff that I often don't have time or I don't take the time to go back to some of these ones that were out two years ago. So I'm so happy that this morning I, I had one idea to share with you something, which I, I will still share that, but um, share with you a really beautiful stamp set and dies from the Occasions catalog. I said, well, I still have two more months for the Occasions catalog. We do not need to get to that today. And so I totally changed my plan this morning. I thought of it as I was like waking up this morning. All right, and so these are my two main pieces, and now let's just go ahead and um, put them all together. So I have my soft suede at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I have very basic layers today. I have got petal pink paper, and this is five and a quarter by four, and then I have five by three and three fours. So very basic, and this is it. This is all I'm gonna do for this card. So simple stamping. 101 right here today. And then the next card, I will step it up just a little bit. And let's go, oh, I'm upside down. And then let's go ahead. I'm gonna move that and put it right on my soft suede. Aren't those beautiful colors together? And you can tell now, well, you can definitely tell how much I needed to re-ink that, but it did, the color did calm down a little bit. And, and if you don't want it that dark too, you can even stamp off some of the ink and it's no problem. And the way, how do you do that? I should show you. This is what I do. If I feel like I got too much ink, 
on an ink pad. All I do is I just pull it out and I just go like this. Can you believe that? I just go like that and I take some off and then I just carry on. So you, that's an option if you think that it is too dark for your liking. So you can always practice and then, uh, you know, take a little off if you want to, but I like it like this. All right, and so next I'm gonna take another soft suede. Same exact measurements for this card. And I'm gonna add in one more little piece. And I did emboss my petal pink then for my next card, because we're stepping it up just a little bit. And I use the Retiring Pine Wood Planks Embossing Folder. Look at that. This one I have had for so long. There is somehow there is an embossed leaf on there. I don't even know when that leaf is from. But the Pine Wood Planks Embossing Folder, it makes a nice wood grain. So I will go ahead and, um, no. I'm not going to adhere that just yet. I have one more thing to do. And then what I did is I added a 3 by 4 piece of soft suede paper. And since, I don't know, I think this look is a little bit like on the rustic side, a uh, little country type look. I do want to rough up my edges a little bit with a good old fashioned, um, I don't know, did anybody ever do this? And then what I'll need is this. I used to do this when I scrapbooked for like everything. I would do this for pictures. I had a tool that even did it. It's probably around here somewhere. Um, but since I don't really have the tool around anymore, I just use the edge of my scissors. You know, this is a little hint too. I've also done this when my um, paper trimmer has been a little dull and it frayed my edges. I just then went and did this and I made it look like it was intentional. So that's an option too. If you end up short on a, extra trimming blades, you can just make it look like it was supposed to happen like that. So I'm seeing a bunch of you say hello to. So um, if you had requested a catalog, I sent those off yesterday. So watch your mailbox for that. And if it doesn't come in the next few days, um, either from Stampin' Up! or directly from me, please let me know. Or if you need a catalog, let me know. I am happy to send you one. All right, so now look at this. I got all this mess here. So I do, I haven't brought this out for a while, my little vacuum here. So let's clean that up. Isn't that so fun? If you need one of these, it's on Amazon. That's the name. Just type in that. It's beautiful. It's amazing. You have to have one of these. And if for nothing else, the novelty of, of having it when your friends come over, just be, oh, got to clean up. So um, it's just fun. All right. And let's move that up. And it's my favorite color. All right. And doo -doo -doo, what do we got going on here? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go like this. So I'm going to offset it just a little bit. We're just going to give it a little tilt. And I had all my stuff packed, or I, I guess I don't have it all packed, because if you saw behind me, I still have my inks and my um, stamp sets up on the shelf. But I bring all my stamp sets and inks and things like that to the retreat, and I have some past kits to bring. And I had to actually go out to my car and bring back in this ribbon. So I wanted to use this lace ribbon. These are the last two pieces of it that I have. Um, in my possession. I have to order some more of it. So I love this lace trim ribbon since we can't get, well, and it is kind of that rustic look and it is the um, very vanilla color. So I wouldn't have used my beloved polka dot tool anyways. I would use this one for sure, but I need to order more. And this will probably become my new favorite because, um, you know, we can't get that polka dot tool anymore. So I got to pick a new frilly, fluffy ribbon. I love fluffy ribbons. And so I'm going to put a glue dot down here. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna tie that nice and snug, just in the corner. And then I can maneuver it up a little bit there. And I will tie a bow to the best of my abilities with this little piece, if I can. I think I can, I think I can get this to work. Oh, I sure can, look at that. Love it when things work out how they're supposed to. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. I just want it to be fluffy. Just want it to be there. All right, and so now, that's why I couldn't adhere that because I wanted my bow to go in place before I adhered it. I'm just a little bit like tilted there. Okay, I don't want my ribbon to be tilted. I want that to be straight on. And now I can adhere it and finish up with attaching everything to the card. So, I don't know. I mean, I really love the simplicity of this one, but a, a little stepped up version is always fun too. And so we'll do some dimensionals. 
I just opened a brand new package of dimensionals. If you haven't gotten um, our dimensionals, they are just the absolute perfect height. And what I, I the ones I'm having now are, are I'm using are the black ones. Something nice about them are um, you get two of the big size like this, and then you get two mini in a package. I always forget that. And I stick with the regular ones, but I like these because you get the two different sizes in one package. All right, and then I'm just going to put that in place off-centered a little bit. And this would be great. You could leave it just as is, or we'll add the little sentiment on there. I use the Stitch So Sweetly dies. It fit that thanks perfectly. And my ink pad was so dull when I made this card that I didn't even want to put it on there. I wanted to wait till I re-inked it. But I couldn't do that, of course, because I wanted to show you how to do that. So I will put my sentiments on both of these cards, and that is going to finish things up for today. If you have any questions at all or comments that you'd like to share, please do so. I'll take a quick peek here, and then I will um, you know, check back in in the next couple days with everybody. And remember, we do a prize patrol for one of those uh, background stamp sets, like, share, comment, to be entered into the drawing. And let me bring, so see, I'm going to have to do something there. That's just not going to work out for me. I'm going to have to darken that or put a label over it. I'll do that. For now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hide it behind there. So look at that. Look at the beauty of these cards. And now, of course, we could add some Wink of Stella. We can add some gems. I'm going to leave these set. I've often talked about that before. I'm going to leave these set on my table. I'm going to let them talk to me in the next couple days. And then I can decide what I should add if I should add anything at all. I really, this one probably not. I love the simplicity of that one. But you know, once you start to what I sometimes call gaudy up a card a little bit, then I can, um, I can, I can decide if I want to gaudy it up a little bit. And then it's good to just keep on adding and, you know, get a little wild with it. All right, everybody, I'm going to stop rambling on there and get on with the day. I hope you enjoyed this evening's video and the different time of the day that I joined you today with our live. And I will be back next Wednesday. Plan will be to be back next Wednesday um, with our regular time at 11 a.m. Central. But who knows? We have a catalog retiring on Monday. We have a new one coming on Tuesday. So if time allows, I may just bop in another time and um, say hello to everybody and tell you what's going on. All right, everybody, have a great night. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.